So we woke up to some serious rain and probably the loudest thunder I've ever heard. And we're getting a little water in over here. So we just put some towels down and moved our shoes. Maybe we'll grab another towel because there's more coming in over here. What? Good thing I took this. Good thing you have them. <coughs> <clears throat> the storm has been incredibly powerful. We are so flooded right now. Um, they have some strong generators though, because not, oh my gosh, the lightning. Um, I am shocked we still have power. So a knock on wood. We don't have Wi-Fi at the moment. That went out probably about 15 minutes ago. Um, the resort does run on... The resort does run on generators, so I believe they have four of them, and they switch off, so at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., they switch, and so um, I think there's like a three-second delay that we're without power. I've never noticed it. Have you ever noticed a three-second delay? On our, I think, second night, we lost power that was unrelated to the generator switch for maybe three minutes. We were sitting at the bar and it was just totally dark, but hopefully we don't lose power. But I gotta say, this is a crazy storm. So if their generators can stick it out, it's pretty strong. We're still going strong on the uh, storm here. So it is, 815 it's still thundering lightning rain wind we got the whole thing um so we're supposed to have massages at 9 30 today i assume that that is not happening um i i also assume that i think the masseuse does not um live here i think she gets um you know brought in by boat which would be impossible but I'm just assuming they don't want me out there like it's flooded and it's thundering and lightning and all of that. Um, let's check on the water over here, the water situation. Let's see. Towels are, oh yeah, pretty wet. Yep. Yep. Um, I assume also, I have a, I'm just doing a lot of assuming. I assume at some point that they will call the rooms if it just keeps on raining like this and say, hey, we're open for breakfast or lunch or whatever, or no, we're not, and we're gonna deliver you something, or I don't know, maybe they're, maybe people are brave and they go out on this, but it's like looking like pretty crazy still. Um, one thing about me is that I do always have snacks, so we're certainly not going to starve. Let's see what I have in my handy dandy bag here. Goldfish. Snack option number one. Snack option number two is just a variety of things. Just variety of things that I had here. So we're not going to... Oh yeah, I think I also have peanuts too. Let's see. Oh, yes I do. Our favorite coated peanuts. So one of um, our viewers, Dave, he sent me peanuts and these cute little bags that I've been using. Like Dave, I didn't know how handy they'd be. I use them all the time. And also some Purell wipes. Um, so we do have some snacks, but I just assume that like if it's gonna rain forever, that they're gonna call and do like a little communication and say like, what's going on? Because I really wouldn't know, even if I felt like walking out there, I wouldn't know if anything was open or not. So that's our update. That is our update. Also, I don't think I added before that we lost power for just like a split second, like just a split second, everything stopped and then went back on. Now we have a slight ceiling leak. Right now it's just like one little drop. 
Um, we've put a garbage can underneath it. So hopefully that's the only one that we get and hopefully it stays just a small little leak because I don't think we have any other garbages. And then what are we gonna do, Kev? I don't know, we've just been doing a lot of this the whole time. <laughs> Fingers crossed it stops soon. Yeah. So they just delivered French toast and a breakfast pizza. And it's still wet out. And we have our massages still on, I guess. How was your massage? It was excellent. Maybe it put me in a better mood. <laughs> Were you a little cranky? Yeah, I was a little cranky. I'll get into it all when I get back to the room. But it was an excellent massage and a very good facial. It's the front of our, our house here. Maybe it's drying up a little. <laughs> what? I was saying maybe it's drying up a little. Who knows? How's the foot bath? Nice. How was your spa treatment? My spa treatment was great. Open I can't open this water. Okay, so we had um, a 90 minute couples massage and it was really good. And then we had a 30 minute facial and the facial was complimentary from the resort for the um, air conditioning issues that we had the first 24 hours we were here. Everything was wonderful. I was very cranky in the beginning because the storm started this morning at like 4 a.m. And it was very loud, thunder, lightning, pouring rain, like the whole thing. So I had been up for a very long time. Now it didn't stop. So our appointment was at 930. This all didn't stop until like quarter to nine. Like it was crazy. Like there was just lightning everywhere. The phones were down. We heard that the lightning hit the post, which made the phones go out, which I heard it hit something. Kev was in the bathroom and it was so loud. And I was like, I think it, like a tree or something is on fire because I knew that it definitely hit something. And I just assumed that it was not on. Like it was just so torrential outside and it wasn't just the rain. If it was just rain, like, okay. But it was like the lightning that was happening. I'm like, there's no way. And the couple's massage only happens twice a week. So that led me to believe that the masseuses don't live here on property. And I'm like, there's no way that boats are operating. There's just no way. And then when it started to clear up, it was about 8.45, 8.50, we started Everybody to see people <laughs> walking by, like wearing their raincoats. It was still raining, but at least, you know, it was a little <laughs> better. And somebody so i'm looking out the window and someone waves to me and then she points to like the front door and it was one of the masseuses so i go open the door and she's like oh just you know we want to know if you want a light breakfast sent to you before you have your massage and i'm like 
if this is all still happening like we our room is flooded like we're leaking from the ceiling like i didn't even know if like meals were happening forget about the massage and unfortunately we have been to resorts quite a few times when there was hurricanes and there's usually pretty good communication about what's going to happen now this was not a hurricane at all i'm not saying that but it still was like pretty bad and i was just waiting for someone to give some direction some communication by phone this was before we knew it was out or just come knock on the door like we had no idea that food was even happening so I was just like overwhelmed. We didn't have like any dry towels because we put them all on the floor to like sob up the water. So I couldn't, you know, it was just, it was overwhelming for me. Okay, it was really overwhelming. I just didn't think it was gonna be a relaxing experience. Walking through, the water was higher than ankle. It was like calf high for me. So I was just like, what the heck is going on? Also, I don't go outside when it rains, okay? This is a little known fact about me. I don't go outside when it rains. I could have lunch plans, dinner plans, plans to go grocery shopping, a haircut. If it is raining, I do not go. So I was just like, what the heck is happening? Like, you really want me to go out in this? And I have two modes. I'm either super, super go with the flow or 100% inflexible. And I was just in flexible this morning like and I'm never like mad or rude to the staff at all it was just I was like fine with them that's why Kev's like do you want it it was like 10 minutes before and he's like do you want me to go try to find Alex and cancel it I'm like we can't cancel it 10 minutes before like clearly the masseuses are here and they're ready to work so I got there and it was lovely they had our, you know, feet in a hot bath, you know, wash all the sand off. It was a great massage. It was, everything was wonderful. Everything was wonderful. So, um, I guess we're going to have a little lunch now and just chill out. This was probably a really long talk. So I'm going to hang up with you now. And, um, I'm happy that I'm in a better mood. I bet Kev is happy as well. I'm happy that she's happy. So <laughs> I forgot what we're having for lunch, but. I, yeah, I, I, one and one. Okay. Okay. So well, I think one was a chicken po' boy and one was yeah. chicken tamales maybe. Yeah, Are we getting it delivered? I never said, she never said. Okay. She said, I'll see you later. We're going to see about our lunch. So I'm going to venture over solo to the bar area and then I'm um, just telling them we want our lunch delivered. Um, and also Brittany requested for a ginger ale. So I'll probably bring the ginger ale back and then it's getting cloudy here. Ginger ale have a drink and then there also chips and salsa it was like a bar snack too and we're gonna get that added on so I'm gonna show you the bar area and all the wetness so we got like the bar special bar magic pineapple juice rum Coconut rum and blue carousel. Cheers, everybody. First drink of the day. So the food just got delivered. I'm heading back now with the uh, Britney's ginger ale. I drink some ice, and uh, the server forgot utensils, so I have those in in the pocket here. So I'll have to have some lunch. We had room service delivered for lunch. So I think this was a chicken po' boy with plantains. Um, I think chicken tamales. And then we just ordered some chips and salsa from like the bar snacks menu. So I just woke up from a nap, maybe like a two hour nap. Uh, Brittany's still napping. So I'm gonna venture out to the bar again and uh, have the four o'clock bar snack. I believe it's empanadas, have a drink and then uh, relax i mean try and relax still kind of misting out but what are you gonna do mother nature we got little empanadas in the bar snack santi's laughing over there <laughs> the rain has picked up now So 
we're just heading back. Had a couple of drinks at the bar. Had to get a new Wi-Fi code for Brittany so she could work. There's still some water, but we got a nice downpour when I was at the bar. You'll probably see, but um, kind of back now for dinner, so that's about it. Not much today, just the weather, bad. I think tomorrow's gonna clear up. Tomorrow should be nice. Here's our third room service meal of the day. Starting off with a little celery soup, chipotle ribs, chicken carbonara, and pina colada cake, pie, something or other. Looks good. Dinner was yummy. I loved the chipotle ribs, so good. I probably set a record as the first person to have eaten three meals in their room at this resort. I wonder if I have. Um, Kev, do you like your food? It was good. Good hour. It was good. I had a bite of his. It was good. And the pina colada cake was good too. Uh, it honestly tasted just like a pina colada. So we are not going to film tomorrow. So this is going to be... Um, it for now, you can look forward to a travel day home video and a review video giving our thoughts about the property. So come back to see those. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead down below and leave those in the comments and we will get back to you. We'll see you in another video really soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.